Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super quick and easy way to create custom shortcuts in AutoCAD. These are gonna save you a ton of time, making typing longer commands unnecessary, as well as customizing the most common ones that you use, so they're right at your fingertips. This is a common question. It was just asked a couple weeks ago, so I wanted to answer this one for you all. Let's jump right into the video. It's a pretty common complaint and question with new users and experienced users alike in AutoCAD, and that is why are some commands easier and quicker to type out than others? Like I'm sure many of you have accidentally hit the C command and got a circle when you're really trying to get copy, which is CO. That's one of my most common ones that I'll switch up and customize. Now, in a question we had, someone wanted the X clip command to simply be X because they tend to use that one more than the typical user probably does. So to quickly and easily customize these aliases within AutoCAD, and I'm going to show you later on in the video another cool trick you can customize when it comes to commands and in particular misspellings and and synonyms for commands but first up AutoCAD introduced the ability to customize the aliases or shortcut commands in AutoCAD a few years ago directly from within the software before this you had to go into the .pgp file and customize that finding it on your computer now this is simply built in a little bit quicker and easier directly within AutoCAD so we now have two easy options to go with the first one is using that PGP file, which you can now get to by going to the Manage tab, hitting the dropdown or flyout here called Edit Aliases, and that's going to open up the old school style auto ACAD.pgp. And from here, you can read the instructions if you need to, but the quick uh, cliff notes is you're gonna wanna go to the very bottom under the User Defined Command Alias section and simply type in your new aliases in the same method that they're using here for any of the other commands. So you can copy one as an example, but basically you're going to put in the short command on the left, and then you're going to space or tab over and use the asterisk and then the actual command. So you can see the example here, say for view, which is V comma, and then you've got some spaces and then the asterisk and the V or view. So I'm just going to copy that. So I control C. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, hit enter. And this is the user defined command aliases and why you want to put this down at the bottom if you are going to go this route and stay tuned because I'm going to show you a quicker and even faster way of doing this after we edit this one. So to start out, you're going to want to paste what we just copied and then you're just going to change the quick command or variable that you want to now represent another command. So in our case, with the user question, we wanted X to be the X clip command. So we can simply type in X clip over here. And now saving this is going to overwrite whatever was the X command and replace it with the command you'd like. And by using these user defined command aliases at the bottom, these are going to automatically overwrite any existing X command. So you don't have any issues there. And if you migrate or copy your profile and settings to a new install, this is going to come with it as well, rather than overwrite when you've got a new version or new install. Now simply hitting save and restarting AutoCAD is going to activate that command for you. So now you've got the X creating the X clip command. And like I mentioned, I tend to like to do the CO and change that to C for copy instead of circle because I don't find myself creating circles that often and certainly don't need a premium uh, short key like C to be creating those for me. But for now, we're just gonna close out of this and save that. So now that will take effect when I restart or reset my AutoCAD. Um, but the quicker and easier way that is more recently introduced is if you have Express Tools, so this is only gonna be the full version of AutoCAD, Civil 3D, those kind of softwares, the LT version doesn't typically have the Express Tools available. But if you do have that, you're wanna, gonna wanna go to the command aliases command over here, and it's basically gonna give you the same sort of thing, but now you can simply type in an alias and type in the command that you'd like to uh, change or add. So in this case, we can click add. You're gonna get the pop-up for the new command alias here. We're gonna type in C for our command alias and the command we want to use is copy. 
hitting OK is going to tell us that that is already being used for circle, which is fine. We want to overwrite or redefine that. So we're going to hit yes. And now you can see alias C now refers to copy. Now, another one that I like to point out and recommend to users is if you don't have anything assigned to your numpad on the right here, so one, two, three, any of those numbers, it's not a bad idea to use some of those since they are almost always free and your right hand is typically near it. I like to assign quick commands like distance or uh, hatch, those kind of things, things that I'll be using a lot and don't want to mess around typing. I can just type one, maybe erase, stuff you use often and you want an additional key for. This is a great way to do that. It's also a great way to set up custom commands if you want a like three or four letter quick command for a more uh, buried or unique command. This is a great way to do that. And if you have a programmable mouse or keyboard with macros, you can set those up to enter those two, three, four letter commands for you as well with a single button. But that's how you're going to create custom aliases within AutoCAD. This is a super easy way to customize and speed up your design within the software. One of my biggest tips and tricks in general is customizing the workspace and interface to suit your type of design and drafting. If you're using specific commands often, those should be easy to use and access. Now, when we're ready to confirm and end this, you're simply gonna wanna click OK. You're gonna wanna overwrite it, if you'd like here. And now that's been overwritten. And now we can test these out. So you can see if I type in C and hit Enter, I've got the command, uh, the copy command instead of circle. Now before we jump into the last couple tips here with misspellings and synonyms, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. It's packed full of tips like this, years of experience, as well as the step-by-step -step workflows I use to set up templates, layers, drawings, layouts, and create my drawings, including bringing in XREFs, adding dimensions, text, and everything else needed to get to that production stage, where I then teach you how to plot and PDF drawings, package all of your files to send to clients, as well as a ton of general productivity tips along the way. You can get that by clicking the link up above or down below in the descriptions. That's my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you before I let you go is if you go back to that manage tab over here, and again, we're going to go to the edit aliases flyout here. We're going to click the edit autocorrect list or the edit synonym list. Either of these, I'll show you both. But when you click that, you're going to get a text file where once again, you can go through and add in any of the frequent misspellings that you encounter or you tend to type. You can almost use this as a secondary way to create these commands. So if you typed in X lip, that's some way that you could accidentally type in X clip. This is gonna allow it to automatically recognize what you're trying to type in and activate that command for you. Now, I don't use this one very often, um, but if you find yourself typing in misspellings or needing corrections, all the time, you can manually add them into this file uh, by using this command. Now, a lot of these mistypes and misspellings are already added into the software, so typically you're not going to run into this, but it is a nice feature to know where it is and how to customize it. Now, lastly here though, is the synonym list, and this one I find a little bit more uh, useful, and you can scroll through and see a bunch of examples here of what I mean, but things like label is going to give you the M leader command, something that you would likely want. Same as like call out. Uh, thread is going to give you the helix command for 3D modeling, or length is going to give you the distance command because that's how you're going to get the length. So this is a lot of alternative uh, naming for commands, things that you may just type because you're looking for a command, and this is going to automatically recognize what you're probably looking for. So if you've got any that you tend to type or you just don't even know what the command is, it's a good way to learn those and add any that you may be encountering or running into often. Uh, again, these are just little simple ways that you can customize and speed up your day-to-day -day drafting tasks within AutoCAD. As I mentioned before, customizing the software is easily the quickest way to boost productivity and your general design speed. Having everything laid out the way you like it, the commands you want, the controls you want, and the uh, tool palettes and layout you like 
is a huge time saver. Now, I hope this video helped you and got you customizing your own AutoCAD commands in just a few minutes. Again, these are simple commands that are a couple clicks away and you've got custom shortcuts within AutoCAD. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my AutoCAD newsletter where I teach tips, tricks, as well as keep you informed on news, new technology, and software in the industry. You can sign up for free at catintentions.com signup. I'll also put that link down below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.